it's back to school season, which means teachers are enjoying their last few day drinking benders, uh, parents are turning Target into a scene from The Purge, and kids are taking their final peas in the pool. <laughs> and thanks to the Trump administration, this year, even con artists are going back to school. The Trump administration will rescind Obama-era policies meant to protect students from abusive practices by for-profit schools and colleges. Today, Education Secretary Betsy DeVos said she plans to fully repeal a rule that targeted schools that failed to prepare students for gainful employment. Federal officials now argue the rule wasn't backed up by research and created burdensome reporting requirements. How can people be this evil? Like, it's bad enough that there are scam schools that take students' money and don't teach them properly, but now Trump will subsidize those scam schools with taxpayer money. Like, it feels like there's nothing this administration won't deregulate. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Trump eventually deregulates e email scams, you know? There'll just be all these Nigerian princes saying, thanks to Donald Trump, I can finally acquire <laughs> the funds to transfer my money to America, huh? <laughs> Thank you so much, Donald. What have you done for me, huh? And now, and now, a lot of people may think that all this deregulation may have adverse effects on America's future. But luckily, the Trump administration has a new program to help you and your children understand. So, what do things with the take a vacation? It's time for deregulation station. <laughs> Hi, kids! It's your flippity skippity friend, the conductor! I'm here with a special guest today, Ronnie Chang! Yay! Yeah, whatever. Let's just hurry up and learn about friendships so I can get out of here. Oh, we're not here to learn about friendship. We're gonna learn about something much better. Deregulation. <laughs> it's when we remove those bad rules so that corporations can maximize their profits. <laughs> and thanks to President Trump, deregulation is the word of the day. Maximize corporate profits? What kind of kid show is this? And also, don't regulations protect us from corporations? Oh, pull your head out of your ass, Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> corporations will always have our best interests at heart. Come with me and you shall see. <laughs> All right, it's our first stop, a newly <coughs> deregulated factory. <coughs> Yo, this place smells terrible. President Trump has liberated American factories from the scourge of pollution rules. <coughs> okay, but what about the kids who are gonna die of asthma because of bad air? <coughs> Boo-hoo, what about the kids? It's not our fault if their lungs can't keep up with tremendous job growth. <laughs> At the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Look, here comes the consumer watchdog himself. That's the consumer watchdog? It looks like shit. Well, I know. <coughs> President Trump bravely stepped in and neutered the consumer watchdog's enforcement powers. Oi, my sciatica. <laughs> <laughs> Limpy co -rimpy. Here we are at the Department of Transportation. The president is rolling back those dumb transportation safety rules. Thanks to Trump, train engineers don't have to be screened for sleep apnea. Wah -wah -wee. This is insane. All this deregulation is short-sighted, conductor. Conductor? Conductor? Oh, oh shit, oh shit, wake up, wake up! Ronnie Chang, everybody.